It's a ruling that could affect the future of women's health for millions of Americans as the high court officially moves to eliminate the constitutional right to abortion. It's a sad day for the court and for the country. Now with Roe gone, let's be very clear. The health and life of women in this nation are now at risk. President Joe Biden calling the decision extreme and the court's three more liberal justices agreed, writing they dissented with sorrow for, quote, the many millions of American women who have today lost a fundamental constitutional protection. Writing for the majority, Justice Samuel Alito said the Constitution does not confer a right to abortion. Chief Justice John Roberts joined the other five conservatives in upholding Mississippi's abortion ban, but wrote he would have stopped short of overruling Roe outright. The ruling, though not a surprise, has caused protests to erupt around the nation, including outside the Supreme Court. A rally has just begun on the courthouse lawn here in Billings. We'll have more on that tonight at 10 o'clock. Well, this decision expected to lead to abortion bans in roughly half the states, though at least right now not here in Montana. However, there are trigger laws that would eliminate abortions in all of Montana's neighboring states, including Wyoming. Abortion is protected here because of a 1999 decision by the Montana Supreme Court known as the Armstrong decision, which found the state constitutional right to privacy gave women the right to have an abortion prior to fetal viability. That means abortion's future in Montana is in the hands of the legislature and the Montana Supreme Court now. For more on how today's ruling will impact our state moving forward, here's MTN's Jonathan Ambarian. In the hours after the U.S. Supreme Court released its decision, leaders made clear that the debate over abortion in Montana was shifting to within the state. For now, it's expected no immediate changes will occur, but the next word on whether that continues could be in the hands of the Montana Supreme Court. Abortion is health care, full stop. I would say further, abortion remains legal in Montana, and that's what we'll continue to tell our patients. Stephanie McDowell is the executive director of Bridger Care, a nonprofit based in Bozeman that provides reproductive health care, though it does not perform abortions. We've seen an increase in our patients accessing emergency contraception and IUDs. And with abortion bans in place, access to birth control will become even more essential. Uh, but the reality is that contraceptive care is already limited for too many people. Bridger Care has also taken over distributing federal family planning funding to clinics around Montana, including Planned Parenthood, which does offer abortions. With neighboring states implementing trigger bans on abortion that will take effect automatically, McDowell expects an influx of patients from outside the state, straining Montana abortion providers. For those opposed to abortion in Montana, the federal ruling was welcome, but it's not likely to bring immediate changes because of the Montana Supreme Court declaring a right to abortion under the state constitution in the 1999 Armstrong case. In a statement, Montana Family Foundation President Jeff Laslafi said, quote, Our work is just beginning, and he called for amending the state constitution or overturning the Armstrong decision. Attorney General Austin Knudsen and Republican leaders in the legislature have also called on the state Supreme Supreme Court to reverse Armstrong. The court at that time ruled that a woman's ability to pursue an abortion is a right to privacy, which honestly is not contained within the, the Montana Constitution. I asked House Majority Leader Sue Vinton if they've discussed calling a special session to propose more abortion restrictions. Well, we're certainly discussing all, all available options. Um, as we saw in the 2021 session, when we were able to pass and the governor signed a number of pro-life bills, uh, what happened after that is that uh, liberals then went straight to the courts and the courts have blocked that good pro-life legislation from taking effect. House Minority Leader Kim Abbott, a Democrat, doesn't believe the public wants a change in the way the right to privacy is interpreted. They support it in our state constitution. The Democratic caucus certainly supports it. Um, you know, any attempt to eliminate or roll back the right to privacy, I think, would be met with um, some strong resistance from Montana voters. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News. Montana Governor Greg Gianforte reacting today, saying today marks a historic win for life, families and science.
With this monumental decision, the Supreme Court has restored power to the American people and their elected representatives. I'm in discussions with legislative leaders on next steps as we work to protect life in Montana. Montana U.S. Senator Steve Daines is the founder and chair of the Senate Pro-Life Caucus. He issued this statement, the United States Supreme Court's decision in Dobbs today ends a historic injustice and rightfully ends one of the world's most horrific abortion policies. The long overdue demise of judicially imposed abortion on demand gives bright new hope to unborn children and their moms across America. Montana's Democratic U.S. Senator John Tester, who's a strong supporter of Women's Health Protection Act, released this statement today. The Supreme Court's ruling now means women and doctors will be put in jail when exercising this long-held right in states across the country. No judge or politician should be telling women how to live their lives or undermining their fundamental right to privacy.